So these are like a project that I worked on. They can also be used as a kind of do-it-yourself rolling thunder if you put both sizes on. So I have a, like an inch and a half, or inch and a quarter, and then a two inch. Um, and you can hook that onto a plates. You can, you know, strain it through plates, and then when you um, widen it like this with the plate, it'll keep it in place. Okay, after bending it, I just tie one end on. So this is the side that doesn't have um, the factory sewn edge uh, of the tie that I used, the tie down. So I just, you know, square knot, slip, it doesn't matter. Something that just won't come undone on one side. And then the other side, we're gonna do what's called an archery knot. And I'll show that in a minute. Okay, so the archery knot is good because it can be, um, loosened and tightened as far as the, making the rope or, or strap longer um, but you can keep a loop in it and that loop won't slide and so I'll show you how to do that okay so you make a f like a four or a nine and the working end you want to go underneath then you take the working end and you put it through the loop it makes kind of this pretzel looking shape so really what I've done the only thing I've done is I've taken the working end I've put it through the loop right here. Then I'm going to put my finger right here into this loop and pull. So now I've just pulled that loop. The only thing I've done is I've just pulled that. And now I take the working end and I put it through here again. Just like that. However, I take this this is the this is the one this is the loop that I need now and then I just pull the working in and I keep my finger in this loop and I end up with that now there's other YouTube videos that'll show you how to do an archer's knot if you want to look that up uh, but essentially what that allows you to do is put immense pressure on this and it won't slip but you can lengthen or shorten it by moving the working end like this Okay, so now I've got two made. You notice there are different lengths, so I'm gonna have to adjust those. And I can do that with the knots that I've made. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a handle to it, which I've made out of just PVC. This one's uh, one and a quarter inch. I have some two inch as well. So all I do is I'm going to slide the strap out of the knot out of the metal here. And I'm just going to slide the PVC onto it. Now I've got a handle on it, and I can slide this back on. 